The images are shocking. A man and woman in the front seat of an SUV passed out from an apparent heroin overdose. A four-year-old child sits calmly in back. When you see that, the shock factor, you know, you get that lump in your throat. That it, 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 it's, it's sad, especially when you have children of your own. CCTV has blurred the photos to protect the child's privacy. But police in the U.S. state of Ohio released the photos unaltered, hoping to provide a window into the real toll of the American opioid epidemic. Addiction, it's just terrible. It's sad, you know, that, that this area has a, a drug problem, a heroin problem, and, and this, is, this is what you're seeing, and, and the children, unfortunately, are, are one of the biggest victims of that. The couple were given a drug to counteract the heroin and later arrested. The child was taken into protective care by social services. Just one heartbreaking episode in a wave of addiction hitting many U.S. communities. Total overdose deaths in the U.S. have risen 137 percent from the year 2000 to the year 2014, while overdose deaths from opioids, prescription pain medicines like Oxycontin and fentanyl, plus street drugs like heroin, have increased 200 percent. Police are often on the front lines of what many experts view as a public health crisis. Earlier this year, the Obama administration committed tens of millions of dollars to fight opioid abuse. The most important thing we can do is to reduce demand for drugs. And the only way that we reduce demand is if we're providing treatment and thinking about this as a public health problem and not just a criminal problem. But for many addicts, chasing the high that comes from drugs is more important than anything else. Nothing was a better feeling than once I got my money and got my drugs to just do to shoot up that heroin like nothing else mattered. With no end in sight to the opioid epidemic, we will likely see more images like this. In 2014, more than 47,000 people in the U.S. died from drug overdoses. That's 128 people a day dying from this epidemic. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.